a fellow researcher, Matt Knapp, and I have been discussing some interesting items within the paranormal field as of late. A couple of days ago, he happened upon a photo that caught his eye, posted by a gentleman by the name of Neil Farley, who has a Facebook page called The Spirit Rescuers of Lost Souls. The photograph posted by Mr. Farley was entitled Spirit in My Driveway, and with that he states, quote, Here are two pictures, one taken right after the other. You can see the slight movement of the positioning of the spirit. He looks like the Monopoly man with the mustache. This image was taken in the driveway of our home on September 7, 2013. Unquote. Now, Mr. Farley is one of the like-minded who feel that orbs represent spirits or ghosts. And upon investigating, Matt discovered several things about these photos, and those are mentioned as follows. First of all, the slight movement mentioned was an obvious change in position of the camera angle, not the spirit itself. The so-called spirit does not look like it moves at all. Secondly, the spirit is behind the driver's side rear-view mirror, being overlapped slightly by the mirror in the foreground, indicating that it is far distant and beyond the car and not close to the camera. Third, the spirit is backdropped by a common city-provided trash dumpster sitting in the driveway. Now, most of us have these types of dumpsters issued by either a county or a municipality, and these usually have an identification seal printed on the sides of them. This spirit appears to simply be a blurred image of the same type of seal on the side of Mr. Farley's dumpster, something that would be completely obvious to the person taking the photograph, you would think, especially if you're apt to see it often right outside of your own home. A little digging reveals that Mr. Neil Farley lives in a town called Rockville, Maryland, and these are the dumpsters issued by Rockville, Maryland Waste Disposal. We can see that the image is an exact match for the blurred images of the spirit of the driveway. We can even see clearly why the image looks like the Monopoly man he compares it to. Now the tough part, the close proximity to the object, the multiple pictures, the fact he sees the object on a daily basis, the fact that he doesn't show any comparison photos during the day or with the object gone, indicates that this is clearly a deliberate hoax. Thank you for watching. I feel you want to break down on this. <laughs>